critical European Championship qualifying game in white shirts get it underway attacking the goal to our left and here's John Barnes and an infringement early on before that ball was played to Barnes Sanson with it bringing in Gary Stevens. it's exactly the same England side that beat Turkey 8-0 And an offside flag against Vojovic on the far side. And a free kick to England. It's Terry Butcher. To John Barnes. Back to Peter Shilton. Winning his 94th cap. Here this afternoon. We're just about an hour ahead of you. It's coming up to 20 minutes to five here. Peter Beardsley. Looking for a goal from him to uh, today. 17 caps and only three goals for Peter. And I think that's not as rich a harvest as many would like to have had from him. Although he has made some excellent goals for the likes of Gary Lineker. It'll be a tough, uncompromising game. You can be sure of that. Here's Gary Stevens. And a throw for Yugoslavia. Elsner. ball there Barnes almost able to cut it out Robson getting heavily involved and suddenly uh, Yugoslavia were breaking there but Butcher will get it back by way of a little dummy by Gary Stevens to uh, Peter Shilton it's me might get in behind them here and also in England ahead. A mistake by the Yugoslavs. And, uh, well, we were talking about Peter Beardsley not getting quite the goals that we want for England. But here, with less than four minutes gone, a mistake in the Yugoslav defence. A backward header. They didn't pick up Beardsley. And Elsner not getting in there. And it's into the back of the net. A great sight for England. And we see it now from another angle as the game goes on. And Beardsley just sticking out the leg. The goalkeeper stranded. And a nightmare for the Yugoslav defence. And a real glint of daylight now for England. A goal up. The best possible start. Ball with the number seven, Stojkovic. For Yugoslavia. Covering needs to be done on the far side. Gary Stevens going out there to do it. So important when you've gone up like this is to get one or two tackles in now to prevent Yugoslavia getting back quickly into this game. Robson involved, trying to get Lineker away. Linaric, the mistake was the sweepers, Elsner. And it says a lot for Beardsley that it looked a lost cause, but uh, not in his mind. a free kick foul there by Tony Adams on the Yugoslavia captain Zlatko Vojevic Shilton needing to line that wall up Zibegic who is 
usually their dead ball man lined up behind it. So too is Stojkovic and Linaric. Tetsi Begic, who's going to take the free kick. And quite easily handled by Shilton. Hetsi Begic, who scored from the penalty spot against Northern Ireland last month in a 3-0 victory in Sarajevo for Yugoslavia. Up goes Robson, wins it in the air bravely. Here's Barnes. Place still buzzing with that uh, early breakthrough by England. Lineker running for this one, but it's a throw to England. Sanson. Well, are they playing another dangerous game? They're almost. And Lineker was very near to getting in, but it looks as though uh, the clash with the goalkeeper has left uh, Rajnitz down. The best possible start then for England, Brian Clough. Well, it was a typical English striker's goal, Brian. Uh, you and everybody who follows football in this country will know what I'm talking about. In other European uh, countries, it had been given up as a lost cause. This one of Lineker is a good example also. You don't get strikers in other parts of the world going in for 50-50 balls like that. Other European strikers duck out. That's why ours are in uh, so much demand and they find themselves in Spain and other parts of the world. I know another philosophy of yours is one that I mentioned there is that once you've scored like that, you do need to get a tackle or two in very quickly to stop them coming back. It's an absolute essential rule, and I'm sick of giving rules away on television, actually, because all these young and up-and-coming managers seem to learn them very quickly. But it's absolutely essential to get the ball immediately you've scored. Once you've got the ball, the opposition can do very little about it, you know. Well, there's a happy uh, guy, although he doesn't look it at the moment. Oh, the relief will be absolutely surging through his uh, veins and uh, the elation will come a little bit, um, you know, in a little bit uh, time where, as the match progresses. Well, Ravnich with a really bloody nose there. He's a good keeper and the uh, news I have that might get a few English managers listening is that he desperately wants to come and play in England. He's uh, a quality Yugoslav international goalkeeper plays for Rijeka up on the coast near the Italian border and apparently is available now so uh, he set out his stall well here we are now with Yugoslavia this is their number seven Stojkovic Elsner whose mistake it was that let Beardsley in for that opening England goal Sanson battling away Robson getting involved as well to Vojevic, the captain, and number 11. Identical twin brother playing at right back for Yugoslavia today, and a good jump by Gary Stevens, getting the ball away for England. Robson again, and yes, I thought the feet were a little too high there by Trevor Steven, and a free kick given to Yugoslavia. Beardsley coming back, doing a, a nice tidying up job there. It'll put a spring in England's stride and everybody will want to work just that little bit harder now. Stojkovic. Good ball played in there quite firmly and the danger also is giving away these free kicks on the edge of the area. Terry Butcher on that occasion. Now this might just be a problem for England. I imagine Hatsibegic will be pretty heavily involved. And now it does call for a disciplined lining up of this wall by Shilton. Plenty in it by the look of it. Stojkovic is behind it as though he's the man who's going to take this shot to try and pierce that wall and bring Yugoslavia back into it. But he can't get it through the wall. Elsner now. Up goes Tony Adams. Trevor Stephen didn't quite get a touch on it. So here come Yugoslavia again. Balnic, that was. 
Now the full back down the left flank. One of the seven players who played at Wembley a year ago, the left back. And England winkling it away there. Stephen not really giving uh, the right sort of ball to get it away though. Elsner. Linaric. Balgic. Linaric. little signs of frustration in the crowd they are a very impatient crowd always the Yugoslav Sanson getting heavily involved good challenge and a ball well won there by Kenny Sanson he's got Lineker away on his left Beardsley again waiting in the middle and a corner for England England's first of the game with 11 minutes gone if you've just joined us the very good news is that England are a goal up thanks to the work of Peter Beardsley. Yugoslavia nil, England one. After four minutes. Now coming towards the 12th minute of the game. Corner played in a little low. Well, there are plenty of English white shirts going in there, and in the end it was Beardsley who dragged it wide, but the whistle had gone. Stojkovic. Oh, a lovely little flick there, down to Vojovic. This is the skipper, Zlatko Vojevic. Elsner. Need to get a tackle in here. As the Yugoslavs make another good break down that left flank with a cross coming in. And uh, Terry Butcher using that six foot four inch as well, finding John Barnes. And now a chance for Barnes to drag the ball away for England. Trying to get Lineker on his way, but... It never looked likely to beat the defender. Vojevic, Mlinaric. Stojkovic. That's Zoran Vojevic giving the ball away. Trevor Stephen coming through, brought down England's free kick. Stephen for the moment down. Let's hope not for long. Fred Street makes a sprightly 50-yard sprint. One or two very good headers already from uh, Terry Butcher. And one good break by Kenny Sanson. And we're looking for another Rio-type goal from John Barnes today. So far, they've settled down fairly well. Well, they say 11 caps for John Barnes. I think it's more likely to be 33. very murky on that far side I think that's Trevor Stephen over there yes Trevor Stephen if anything the mist seems to have got just a little bit thicker and now Lineker played inside but sadly for England there wasn't a white shirt there but the danger certainly threatened for a moment for Yugoslavia again and now it's swung to the other end here Stojkovic in comes Barnes to retrieve the situation for England. Adams. Finding Neil Webb. Lineker battling for it here. And losing out to Milinaric. And 
Beardsley complaining there about an infringement inside the box. And the referee agreed, and England have an indirect free kick. Now, my mind was uh, distracted for a moment there. I'm wondering maybe back in London if anybody had a clue as to what that was for. <laughs> yeah, Ryan, what it is is when the goalkeeper rolls the ball, it's still within his penalty area. He's not allowed to have it back and pick it up. Ah, yeah, yeah. Beardsley was quick to spot it, Brian. Yep, no, the, refer the referee agreed. The appeals went straight up and the referee gave it straight away. But it isn't indirect. But it's in a very, 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 very dodgy uh, position That's for right. the opposition. Well, here's Robson and Barnes. Beardsley. An indirect free kick. It'll be a little touch that Robson plays off for somebody, I would think. Barnes with a shot! And we're two ahead! Well, there couldn't be a better start for England than this. 16 minutes gone, and England, two goals to the good. And still not a flicker of emotion from the England manager. Touch there for John Barnes, rifling that left foot shot past Ravnich. And England 2-0 ahead, the most brilliant start possible. Hit with great power. Now it's going to need a, a comeback of some proportions now from Yugoslavia. But England's concentration must remain high. Barnes again, Sanson, Lineker, no, got caught up there. Smilarik, Stojkovic, and Neil Webb dispossessing him, playing it quite comfortably to John Barnes, a great start this for England. Hansi Begic getting that one away. Katanic, number four. Mlinaric. Straight to Webb. On to Lineker. Elsner's there with him and gets the ball away for the England throw. Robson's coming through. Can this be an That's a free kick, certainly. Brutally taken down on the edge of the box. Just when it looked as though the England captain was going to make another of those telling and surging runs of his from the midfield. So Beardsley, four minutes. Barnes, 17 minutes, if you just joined us from this European Championship qualifier in Belgrade. England leading by two goals to nil. Barnes behind this one as well, as you can see, Beardsley number nine. Beardsley curling and flicked away by the keeper Ravnich for an English corner. That's Trevor Stephen will take. something here it's another one and Gary Lineker no I think it may be Robson there it is into the back of the net and England now three goals up the whistles all around this ground now.
No doubt about it. There's the number seven shirt. And there's Robson into the back of the net for England's third goal. Robson away. Slipped by uh, Butcher. And a free kick to England. I tell you what, here, Brian, you almost have to look at the scoreboard, the scoreboard to believe what exactly has happened in this what, opening 20 minutes of the game. Incredible start for us. If we'd have um, been dreaming for three weeks, we couldn't have envisaged this type of thing. And there have been three quality goals as well. No scrambles, uh, nothing like that. The free kick was an exceptionally good one. And if we get a chance to have a look at it at half-time, I'll mark your card what happened. Throw on the far side then. And a free kick to Yugoslavia. Free kick to the Yugoslavs. We're looking a bit demoralized, as you might well expect now. Stojkovic. Stojkovic now for Yugoslavia. Some very good defending that time by Robson. him once more Gary Stevens only half getting that one away Robson with another touch finding Barnes a little touch by him to Kenny Sanson Barnes Barnes again taking it that time from Lineker now Lineker Robson Beardsley Stephen on the far side. Stevens has made a good run for him. Trevor Stephen to Brian Robson. Webb right in there now for England. Played him once more for Lineker. And somehow Ravnitch got it wide and it was so close to being number four. Instead, it's a corner for England. Just wide off the keeper. Barnes takes the corner. Butcher's gone forward. Oh, and it's another one. And this time it's... Of all things, it's Adams. They're flying in everywhere. And Tony Adams, who's never scored for England before, gets in there with a massive header to make it four. Well, it's an astonishing game now, and uh, really, as a competition, it's almost over. It's a question, really, of how many England could get. And when you think they got eight against uh, Turkey, followed up with another four here, and in this group, they've yet to concede a goal themselves. It's a fabulous record.
Let's hope the fog stays away. It's, I must say, it does appear to be that little bit murkier. Barnes. And the score, I gather, in Bulgaria at the moment, the latest score is Bulgaria nil, Scotland nil. Cleared away, cut out that time by Yugoslav defence. Katanec and an offside against Vojevic. Well, Beardsley shakes his head. I would have thought that's what something like 50,000 Yugoslavs are doing here in this stadium at the moment. And they're making a substitution already, the Yugoslavs. They're taking off Elsner. He was the uh, sweeper whose first mistake led to the first England goal and bringing on in his place number 14, Jankovic, who plays for Real Madrid. But four down in 24 minutes. so sharply and with so much confidence now as indeed they should be Stevens on the far side Stojkovic Beardsley to Barnes Sanson up ahead of him And look at Beardsley right back there, getting heavily involved in that midfield battle and getting it back to Peter Shilton. Chance for a break now for the Yugoslavs. Kadanic's pass going astray and a throw though to Yugoslavia. 29 minutes of this European uh, Championship qualifier gone. Yugoslavia nil, England four. Valjic. Sanson for England, now Barnes. Beardsley. Barnes. Lineker up there. Robson and away goes Trevor Stephen Lineker's up there with him Lineker's pulled away Stephen's shot quite easy for the keeper Too high by Neil Webb, free kick to Yugoslavia. Katanec. Uh, Barnes, rather. 
from Beardsley to Barnes, Robson to Stevens. Playing like a home side at the moment, England. Well, if you've uh, just tuned in and have missed the opening, uh, what, 30 minutes of this game, what an amazing scoreline that this is. Yugoslavia nil, England four. Beardsley, Barnes, Robson and Adams, the scorers. So half an hour gone, quarter of an hour of this first half remaining. And England truly on their way to the European Championship finals in West Germany next summer. And certainly with a result like this, we'll have quite a few... Uh, national managers around Europe scratching their heads and wondering who might well be the favourites for those championships Stojkovic stopped by Sanson helped by Barnes played in again there to Neil Webb Stephen Gary Stevens has made a tremendous run down the right for him. But the Yugoslavs get the possession again. Terribly difficult with the naked eye to see anything on that far side of the field. Uh, you've got a much better view, I have to say, with your sets at home. There's Neil Webb, at any rate, we can recognise him. Free kick on the far side to be taken. No, it's a throw. It's with Robson. It's Trevor Stephen. We're well, playing it in, but a goal kick. Beardsley's snapping away there, but still gets the ball back. It's Vojevic. Interesting ball played through there, but Butcher very positive in his defending there for England. Kadanec. Trying to get the ball through to Vokri, but it's Beardsley and now Robson. Good play here by England and uh, Stevens, though not quite able to get to that one. It's cut off there by Lineker. Comes back to Vojevic. Linaric given away again. Trevor Steven for England. Lineker waiting in the middle. Beardsley is in there too and Robson and a corner for England. 12 minutes of the first half remaining. Barnes taking the corner and another one. Robson, it'll come through for another one. No, disallowed. Whistles from the Yugoslav crowd there. Eh? Can't think why, but... Uh, Tony Adams right in there once more. Played in by Robson. Here's Neil Webb. And Lineker chasing.
get it to Barnes. Butcher. Now Jankovic. Stopped by Robson. Steven to Stevens. Steven. Sivegic. Kupalnic. Katanic. Come Yugoslavia. Vojevic, the captain. There's some uh, support from Stojkovic. Baljic. and Robson a long way back to Shilton. Well, the Yugoslav manager, Ivica Osim, was quoted a while ago as saying, I have the players and I have the tactics to beat England. He certainly has had to do a massive rethink on that bold quote. With England leading here by four goals to nil. With about eight minutes to go to half time. Sanson getting that away to safety. Yugoslav's claiming a corner. But a goal kick it is. And Yugoslav's at the moment reluctant to let the ball come back. Another thing the Yugoslav manager was saying before today was that they would have preferred to have played this on a, a tight little ground that is used just for football where the atmosphere would have been right. I think wherever they would have played it on this form they would have been struggling against England and certainly the support they've been getting from the terraces is not to be sniffed at. The Yugoslav crowd have been uh, fairly firmly behind them until that third and fourth disaster hit them. Well, a substitute ball is on. And Shilton will now get the goal kick. And we gather from Sofia, the half-time score between Bulgaria and Scotland is nil-nil. Beardsley playing it on, but Lineker caught offside. Come back to him again. Stevens doing his best to hold him up. Crossing there once more, though, but Shilton will get to this one quite comfortably. 
And in truth, in the opening 40 minutes of the game, the English goal has hardly been threatened. Five minutes to go to half time. And it's worth repeating again if you've just joined us. England, an extraordinary European Championship game here, leading Yugoslavia by four goals to nil. But now Butcher couldn't be sure that he could get that pass back to uh, Peter Shilton. Decided on the safe way out with the throw, with the uh, ball whacked into touch. Webb, the long ball clear. Lineker on the chase. But Vojevic brought down and a free kick to Yugoslavia. Jankovic. Bazdarovic, number 10. And a free kick. To Yugoslavia. Brought Katanich forward for this one. Tall midfield player. Instruction there by. I'm not to see who that is. That's Peter Beardsley. I think it's Peter Beardsley on the far side. continues to thicken marginally as Yugoslavia take another free kick and a good one and uh, Stojkovic returning it from uh, Shilton's punch way over the top and a goal kick so three minutes from the interval England leading by four goals to nil Beardsley and Barnes Brian Robson and Tony Adams his first goal for England Barnes, but Sanson tidying up quite comfortably again. Back to Shilton. Stephen on the far side. Webb. Gary Stevens played in early. Robson. Adams back to Shilton. captain but a poor clearance and England in possession with Robson playing the leading role again Webb on the far side Lineker lurking once again in that six yard area but this time the Yugoslavs get it away which they failed to do on four occasions in the opening 24 minutes and now get a free kick So 33 yards or so out. That's just to the left of centre. Five in the England wall. And one minute of the first half remaining. And derisive shouts from the crowd. As Hatsibegic's free kick goes way over Shilton's crossbar. Webb and now Robson 
Gary Stevens. Lenaric. Katanich. Away once more by. Uh, Tony Adams, John Barnes now for England. That's the Ravich. Kadanich away on his right. Nothing coming off there for the Yugoslavs as they find Peter Beardsley again. And now Trevor Stephen back to Peter Beardsley. Lineker's making all sorts of runs for him and then... They weren't for once on that same wavelength. Lineker came inside, Beardsley's pass went outside, and here come Yugoslavia again. But England still leading 4-0. Into time added on for stoppages at the end of the first half. Play on, says the referee there, so Beardsley's on his way. And Webb as well. Lineker again waiting in the middle, but Vojevic back to his keeper, Ravnic. Half-time whistle, and what a brilliant... Well, they're going to get the second half underway. A forlorn prospect indeed for them. Jankovic. They played three games this season, the Yugoslavs. Uh, they lost to Russia and to Italy, and then, of course, beat Northern Ireland by three goals to nil. But this so far has been a humiliation for them, an absolutely sensational performance by England. Hatsi Begic playing back as a sweeper at the moment. Baljic, Jankovic, who's had so much success with Real Madrid, quite easily cut out there by Kenny Sanson, and here come England again. Barnes for Sanson, in for Lineker. Pasarevic forcing the ball out wide here for Milaric Robson there trying to get an early challenge in but fails on this occasion and Adams brings the ball away to Trevor Stephen Katanich, Vojevic, Stojkovic on the far side, and a free kick, no, not given, Robson gets it away, Beardsley off in pursuit, and gets there first, he's got Gary Lineker up as well, now he's brought down, that is a free kick for England. Goal after four minutes by Peter Beardsley. Only his fourth for his country. Now winning his 18th cap. Barnes will take the free kick, although Robson's going across there as well. Trevor Stephen too. Nika Beardsley and Webb waiting in the middle. Robson, in fact, just went across to have a word. Barnes floating it in. Robson might get a touch. Linica playing wide and Trevor Stephen putting it way over the top for a goal kick for Yugoslavia. I don't think the mist has got any worse over the last quarter of an hour or so. Jankovic. And a throw to Yugoslavia. Kadanec. Well, that's 
some better play there by the Yugoslavs. That's the crispest passing we've seen from them so far, but still broken up by England as Barnes finds Robson, then releases Sanson, plays it now for Lineker. Barnes again, Lineker. And Bazdarevic breaks that one up for Yugoslavia. Robson's touch to John Barnes. Barnes once more, some delightful play again by England here. Barnes seeking to get round his man and is obstructed. A free kick conceded there by Zoran Vojevic. Taken quickly by Sanson, scarcely hoping to get on the end of it and hoping in turn to find Lineker, but gets a corner for England. Four minutes of the second half gone. England leading by four goals to nil, all scored in the first 24 minutes of the game. Again, Adams up for this one. Beardsley and Lineker too. Play towards Adams. Barnes. Adams once more. Stephen letting Barnes in again for England. This could be another possibility here as Webb has a shot pushed away brilliantly by the goalkeeper. The first real save that a Yugoslav goalkeeper's made. And now the break's on at the other end. A foul by Beardsley, a free kick to Yugoslavia. On Jankovic. Jankovic. Bazdarevic. Ninaric. Baljic. Webb losing touch there on the first occasion, but eventually they get it away, helped by Gary Stevens. Vojevic, Hatsibegic, Jankovic. Stojkovic. Jankovic. Sibegic again. A more style about the Yugoslavs in this second half. Bring them with that most comfortable cushion of four goals. Kavanic to his goalkeeper, Radaka. Gary Stevens and a throw. Katanec. Easily cut out by Robson. Now maybe the Yugoslavs can get in, the flag stays down, but Gary Stevens, time to get it away. Webb, no, didn't get a contact. Vojevic, captain. Valjic. Kadinic. Playing for a handball there against Tony Adams and a free kick to Yugoslavia. So Shilton poised and alert. Behind it, Stojkovic. Naric, Stojkovic, goal kick to England. A 
little more urgency, uh, Brian Clough, if you uh, can hear me now, about uh, Yugoslavia in the second half. Oh, it's inevitable they've got to have a little bit of a spell. No, nobody can be overrun in a 90 minutes game of football as much as they were in the first half, Brian. So they'll come back five or ten minutes. But if we're lucky enough or good enough, which I think we will be, to get another goal, you'll see them go back down to where they finished in the, in the first half. We are still playing with that uh, confidence, but it's inevitable that the touch of urgency goes out of the play. We know we're, you know, homeward bound, so to speak, regarding the result. Um, but we'll keep on going. I think we'll get one. Beardsley finding Barnes. Beardsley bringing in Sanson. Good team play again by England. And Beardsley almost getting on the end of that one as well. But the left full back, Baljic getting it away. But Sanson again. Some good runs as Kenny Sanson, but that pass went astray to Katanich. Balnich, the fullback. Benaric taken out of the play by Trevor Stephen. There are still no score in Bulgaria and Don Howe, as you can see, creating now a bit of urgency in that England side. And here it's, of course, Yugoslavia nil, England four. In goes Adams. Up goes Barnes. Lineker seeking and John Barnes takes it on. Might go all the way. Trevor Stephen in there too. Flattened, but no free kick. And Yugoslavia under threat again. Can uh, get it away to Milaric. Making this run down the left. And the ball is cleared to Trevor Stephen. Linica. Stevens. Foul on Trevor Stephen. Halfway through the first half in Prague, still Czechoslovakia nil, Wales nil. Neil Webb. That's a delightful ball played by him for Trevor Stephen. Crossed in once more and a corner for England. Which Barnes will take. Tony Adams and Terry Butcher both coming forward for this one. Seeking goal number five. Beardsley being called to the referee about something. But nothing very serious. As Barnes now takes this corner for England. And the keeper fisting that one away. Barnes once more. And a goal kick. I'm just wondering, Brian Clough, too, how impressed you've been by the balance in this England side. Stephen, who's done some good work down the right. Sanson, who's balanced things up nicely down the left. And there's a good-looking style about the whole side, isn't there? Well, balance is the operative word and the important word as well. When I was looking at the team sheet before the match started and I saw four on uh, young Stephen, I thought, you know, what is he going to play? But it's worked out absolutely brilliantly. Um, you've got the pace of Kenny Sanson from a left back down that side. And um, you've got Barnes being allowed some freedom, which he's never been allowed in his life until he moved to Liverpool. And he's playing on a stage now which he could have been on two or three years ago. It, it, it's not a criticism of, of Graham Taylor's style of play, but it, it's not coincidence either that Barnes has blossomed since he's now getting the ball more often at his feet instead of coming down with snow on it. Um, everybody's style to everybody's taste, and it's done Graham proud over the years, but the game was designed to play on the floor, and it will always be that way. I watched the England um, youth side play a couple of weeks ago and I was a little bit concerned that they were 
kicking it around far too much. Uh, I just hope it's stamped out immediately because the big team have given an exhibition how it should be played. Thank you, Brian. As Shilton throws it out, and the exhibition continues with Trevor Stephen finding Gary Stevens. When you think about it, in the uh, well, we've had what nearly a quarter of an hour of the second half, an hour of the game gone, and Peter Shilton yet really being forced to make a serious save. And England still not having conceded a goal in their group matches so far. Having played five, this is the six. And having scored 12 in their last two so far. Here's Sanson, who's had a fine game, but losing out that time. And there's a gap developed down there that Stojkovic might be able to exploit for Yugoslavia. Played inside for Jankovic. But then it grinds to a halt again, and away come England. Trevor Stephen. And an England throw. A man with a problem. The Yugoslav manager, Ossi. Throw. It goes to Yugoslavia, taken by Kadenec. Beardsley, hurrying away there. A little touch by Robson. And look at Beardsley, and Barnes outside him. And all it needs is a good pass, it's got it. And is this the next one? No, saved by the keeper. torn apart there as they came anxiously forward the Yugoslavs and they could be torn apart again here as Barnes takes it up and look at Sanson making that break down the left once more Lineker poised in the middle Webb coming up fast as well and once again the keeper playing his first international has pulled off two very good saves and his handling looks very very sure Stojkovic on the far side for Yugoslavia. Linaric. In the mist on the far side. They claim a penalty. The referee thought hard about it. And then said get up. And he's given a goal kick. And I think the referee was right. Long ball forward, looking for Vojevic. And Adams back to goalkeeper Peter Shilton. Robson. Barnes. Space out there. Beardsley in the middle. Robson. Stevens. That's a Vegas getting the ball clear to Bazdarevic. And now Stojkovic. Quarter of an hour to go in uh, Bulgaria, and still Bulgaria nil, Scotland nil. A match that Scotland need to win if the Republic of Ireland are to progress to the European Championship finals. And Bazdarevic being called to the referee for the challenge on Trevor Stephen, and gets a final warning. Free kick to England.
There's no way that England could continue with that goal-scoring theme that in the first 24 minutes produced four goals, but overall the performance has remained at a very, very high level. Webb to Sanson. Beardsley on the far side. Barnes, Sanson. They've combined really well down that left flank this afternoon. And a keeper's ball. And with half an hour gone in Prague, it's still nil-nil between Czechoslovakia and Wales. Kadanec. Again, Kadanec. But here come England again with Trevor Stephen. Trying to get it through to Webb. Linaric. That should be Shilton's ball, and it is quite comfortably. Out for Barnes. Now Jankovic. And again, some good work by the England defence by Terry Butcher holding off the uh, forward Ninaric. Certainly all those doubts that surfaced in September when England were well and truly beaten by West Germany in Dusseldorf, they for the moment have been buried. Here's Trevor Stephen. It's a good looking cross and the keeper has lost it. Beardsley trying to regain it. And they get it back to Radakana at the uh, second attempt. Bad news for Wales from Prague. The Czechs have now gone one goal to nil ahead. Here's Vojevic. Solid defending again by Tony Adams. And a corner to Czechoslovakia. Only their second of the whole game. And we play 20 minutes of the second half. No, it's not even a corner this time. The referee appeared to give it and then changed his mind and it's a goal kick. Vojovic confused by that. Stevens. Well, is this a possibility for Yugoslavia? No. Charged away. Jankovic with a shot and a goal kick. Just thinking, Brian, just deliberating where there was all the speculation if England lost, what would uh, Bobby Robson's future be and so on? That is very, very secure at the moment, as indeed it should have been, whether we won, drew or lost, I would have thought. True, but it'd be more secure now. And I think there'll be a few rewrites going on after the match as well, Brian, from a few of your journalistic college, uh, colleagues over there. A few back pages will have to be scrapped now, which I'm delighted. They don't work hard enough as it is, and if they've got to rewrite their stories, I'm absolutely delighted. <laughs> Gary Stevens. Now, Brian Robson just kept that in play for Trevor Stephen. Butcher. And onside. Beardsley played onside. And the little chip coming in. Can Trevor Stephen get to this one? No, he can't. He was played onside there by Milinaric. But now Vojevic, the captain. Played left again for Milinaric. in there that took a deflection and in the end it was Gary Stevens who got it away halfway through the second half now and England's 
domination of this European Championship game continues, even though they can't add to their first half scoreline of 4 0. Jankovic. Kazanich. Now Barnes, but the uh, flag is up. Any further comments, Brian? I was just just uh, talking to Nick here, uh, Brian. We're getting a sound over our on our television sets back home when it's in the England Pandy area, and people could be forgiven if they thought it was a foghorn. But people who uh, know the game and have worked with him, it's Peter Shilton shouting, and you can hear him coming across at all times. And despite the fact he's not had a shot to save for 60, 70 odd minutes, the work he's done with his vocal cords are nothing short of incredible. You can hear him now, actually, if you listen closely enough. Well, there he is. And he might have a bit more than shouting to do right now because there's a free kick given to Yugoslavia on the edge of the England penalty area. Vojevic, the captain. Misty here, but it's turned very cold as well now. And there's a lovely warm feeling in the England camp. Those four goals to the good. There's the Ravich behind this one. And well saved by Shilton. So number 10, uh, Baz the Ravich with the shot. Not troubling England's 38-year-old goalkeeper, Peter Shilton. Adams first to show for England but did so with a push on Vojovic and so the free kicks given to Yugoslavia which they want to take quickly Jankovic trying to get it through to Vojovic and Vojovic almost there it just had to fall for him and Yugoslavia had a goal on the plate but it just fell that foot behind him and England were able to escape Vazdarevic again Jankovic Stojkovic on the far side Jankovic that looks as though it had to be out of play and a goal kick and indeed it was the uh, French linesman on the far side with his flag up so if you've just come in with 26 minutes of the second half gone England so comfortably placed four goals to nil Beardsley, Barnes, Robson and Adams all in the first 24 minutes of the game here in the Red Star Stadium in Belgrade good jump there by Webb Stephen won't get to that one but it's an England throw and there's no doubt about it England expected to come here to play in a white hot atmosphere and there was every indication that would be the case in the first few minutes until Peter Beersley punctured it all with that opening goal for England and then uh, Barnes, Robson and Adams piled in with three more and now really it's a fairly subdued Yugoslav crowd and a fairly subdued Yugoslav team as well and still nil-nil between Bulgaria and Scotland in Sofia Robson Gary Stevens didn't get to it quite it was a good block challenge and a throw to England good break there by Neil Webb 
spotted the possibility as well, but Antsi Begic gets it back to his substitute goalkeeper, Radaka, with Ravnic having gone off at half-time, having been beaten four times, but also had a pretty unpleasant nose injury after a clash with Gary Lineker. Stojkovic. It's with Beardsley. And now with Robson. Beardsley. Still got it in, and uh, Hatsi Begic and his keeper make the clearance. quickly but he was pushing on uh, Katanic and we gather that Mackay has scored for Scotland in Sofia they've gone a goal up remember a Scottish victory puts the Republic of Ireland into the European Championship finals and Robson is the injured England player and it looks as though it may be a yellow card, just that the referee has got out here. And that was a brutal challenge into the back of uh, Brian Robson. Get a, an appearance of what the uh, massive Red Star Stadium is like here. a whole host of people around behind one of the goals moving away from a certain area and towards where the English fans are standing I hope there's not going to be a problem there smoke bombs are going off as well and Robson is coming off well, he seems to be walking quite comfortably maybe it's just a precautionary measure and it'll be Peter Reid I think who's coming on Yes, Peter Reid has stripped off. Who's having a tremendous season with Everton. So Peter Reid on and Brian Robson off. They don't come any more competitive than Peter Reid. He'll keep this momentum going for England. 4-0 to the good. And Terry Butcher then with the free kick. England having pushed everybody except Tony Adams and Peter Shilton now into the Yugoslav half of the field. And well, that drops into no man's land and uh, is easy for Pojovic. Sanson. Stephen. Free kick then to England. Taken by Butcher. Can Stevens get in? Stephen rather get in on the line side there and. Uh, well, Lineker was right in there, almost looking for that goal, and it goes away for another corner to England. Which Stephen will take. Bears has made a little break towards him. Stephen, who's had a marvellous game for England, gets another corner. I make it about another 12 minutes left. England are 
sure as anything can be of appearing now in those European Championships finals in uh, West Germany next summer. Here come Yugoslavia. Offside flag is up. There's the story of the game. 4-0 to England with the goal scorers on the left. And I'll tell you, in that hectic and bewildering and blistering opening 24 minutes, you really had to cock an eye once or twice in that, that direction to be sure that it really was that way. Lineker on the far side. Still Gary Lineker trying to play it wide for Peter Beardsley. Yugoslavia get it away. Jankovic. Azdorevic. Minaric. Barnes right back helping out even at the expense of a corner. Yugoslavia's corner. Oh, they've got one back. And Kadanic, the big midfield player, gets in with the header. And Yugoslavia bring it back to 4 1. Out jumping Gary Stevens, beating Peter Shilton. 4 1. So a consolation there for the host team. But little more than that, really. Good jump, though, by Kadanic. Well-timed header, downward header, always difficult for the goalkeeper. And England have now brought on another substitute. Glenn Hoddle's on. And Scotland have beaten Bulgaria by a goal to nil. And the news of Brian Robson, incidentally, is that he's just taken a knock on the calf. It's not serious, and he has merely come off as a precaution. So Hoddle now on for England, in place of Neil Webb. Sanson gets it back to Peter Shilton. News flying in from all directions, and half time now in Prague. It's Czechoslovakia one, Wales nil. So it's tremendous news for the Republic of Ireland with that Scottish victory in Bulgaria. Jack Charlton will be delighted about that, of course. to Jankovic too little too late surely for Yugoslavia Ojevic about eight minutes left Hoddle Stevens Hoddle again Stevens, Trevor Steven, Hoddle outside him, and hit straight at the keeper. Jankovic, Vojevic. Now given against Trevor Steven and a free kick to Yugoslavia. with just seven minutes remaining now. And here come England, John Barnes. It would be good to get a goal in this second half as well. Beardsley. 
Sanson's made a good brave dart down the left once more and Beardsley has played it back into him as well Sanson trying to get it back here come Yugoslavia Vojovic is up and here he is played in towards Jankovic but some good covering by Tony Adams 21, the youngest man in the England side. So smiles from Neil Webb and from Brian Robson. Both been substituted with Peter Reid and Glenn Hoddle on. Kadanich, scorer of the opening Yugoslav goal. Stojkovic. Kadanich. Sivegic, Minaric, Karanic, Norwich, Kadanich right in there, England get it away, and here's John Barnes, played almost lazily there for Peter Reid, off he gallops now, and he's got Lineker up, Hoddle's come up with fresh legs as well on this near side, will it come for Lineker, frustratingly it won't, but he still gets it through to Hoddle, On the far side is Beardsley. And a foul there and a free kick given to Yugoslavia, which they've taken quickly and they're away again. Minaric. And a chance here for them on the far side. Stojkovic. Corner to Yugoslavia. Coming with a late flurry with five minutes left, but the game is up as far as they're concerned. 4-1 down. One then to England. Here's the corner for Yugoslavia. And England whack it away out of the mist. And it's with Vojevic. Atsivegic. Minaric. Good work by Hobble. Trevor Steven. Got Beardsley up there, Lineker up there, Stephen again receiving, Barnes on the far side, they're all steaming forward now for England, here's uh, John Barnes. The whistle had gone and a free kick to Yugoslavia, again taken quickly, Katanic, Jankovic, Katanic, it's Hoddle's header, Reid to Steven, space ahead of him, Lineker supporting, Hoddle coming up fast as well, still with Trevor Steven, Beardsley on the far side too, maybe he's gone too far, he's going to pick out John Barnes, now Beardsley, Barnes, some three minutes or so remaining, John Barnes for England, Crosses in, the keeper who favours fisting whenever he can gets that one away with his let's go, let's go. fist and then gets it back again from Katanich. I'm just thinking, Brian Clough, it's a long time since we've seen such an overall impressive England performance away from home as this. One full of confidence and uh, they'll stand us in good stead confidence-wise for the next six or seven or eight months, Brian, when we go to Germany because you'd be amazed at how much um, how much confidence a display like this gives individuals? You know, I saw a little bit of extra bounce in Neil Webb after he'd come back, having worn an England shirt for the first time. And now that Bobby Robson's got this nearly established side together, they will show this, not, not arrogance, but there's a touch of it, uh, and, it, and rightly so, nobody's good at the jobs without this touch of arrogance. We've seen it in Chilton, the guy who's got the ball now for the last 20 years. 
Well, his throw finds Kenny Sanson. Barnes. Coming towards the last minute now. Reed, Stephen. Kadinic, Vojevic, Maljic, Hatsivegic. One minute left. Playing out the last formalities, really, of this. European Championship group as Derevic bowled over there and a free kick to Yugoslavia the one game that's left in uh, Turkey next month is really now of no importance Kalinic